When it comes to math, I guess the most commonly heard piece of advice is perhaps the familiar phrase, practice makes perfect. These are wise words to live by and is generally true for math at primary and secondary levels. But the game changes when you progress to junior college where the complexity of the subject increases substantially. Due to the increased difficulty, purely attempting as many questions as often is not going to give you as much assurance in getting good exam grades where higher level math is concerned. Another technique commonly relied upon by students is going through past year exam papers in an attempt to spot patterns and trends and revising accordingly. As we know, all predictive techniques come with a measure of risk and question spotting being a gamble by its very nature will not guarantee you good exam grades. Contrary to popular belief, the key to scoring consistently high grades in math at junior college level is neither lots of practice nor question spotting or analyzing how examiners set the questions. The most foolproof method of achieving consistently high marks for tests and exam is actually for you to develop an in-depth understanding of each topic, especially theory-centric topics, as well as the versatility in applying this understanding to solve different types of questions you may encounter. I will link my video explaining what theory-centric topics are, so check the description. The most common problem junior college students face when attempting to complete their tutorials is that they often get stuck very early on, leaving them frustrated and discouraged. The reason this problem arises is in part due to the heavy assignment workload students are given, as well as the tight academic schedule. Feeling this pressure to complete their assignments on time, students tend to jump straight into doing their tutorial assignments after just a cursory reading of their lecture notes, often having to then um, subsequently revisit and consult their notes when they realize that they are out of depth. This disorganized and unfocused approach often leads to students developing an incomplete and in some cases, I would say an incorrect understanding of the topic. As a result, you will realize that students often find themselves having to relearn concepts and this vicious cycle places a further drain on their already limited resources of time and energy. The solution to this problem is counterintuitive and is not actually always easy. Ideally, you should spend as much time as possible understanding your lecture notes before you even allow yourself to sit down and attempt your tutorial questions. In other words, there has to be a reproportioning of the time you allocate to reading lecture notes and doing questions, with the focus being on gaining a thorough understanding of each topic rather than merely just trying to complete your assignments or tutorials. Consistent and good grades can actually be accomplished in a three-step process, namely theory and concept understanding, topical outlining, and finally, practice. As we touched on earlier, firstly, you should take your time to read your lecture notes closely and carefully instead of rushing through them. For a theory-centric topic, I would recommend that the optimum proportion of time devoted to the theoretical understanding and practice being 50% each. Whereas for a practice-centric topic, it will be something that is like 30-70%. The next step would then be to form a logical framework of the topic, noting and highlighting what the key points are. The goal is to reduce each topic to a condensed outline of key information such that you can tell at a glance what is important and what is not. Lastly, you should put your understanding to test by attempting questions, refining your logical framework along the way. The above approach will help you to achieve consistent results via a thorough and complete understanding of the concepts, which in turn enable you to answer effectively any questions you can encounter during tests and exams. I'm Jack from Achievers. We conduct weekly A-level H2 math tuition and crash courses. Appreciate your thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel and let's continue to learn math better.